guys, today I'm back and I'm going to be showing you what um, fidgets I take to school and what fidgets I think are good to take to school. I thought I'd wear my school uniform to do this, except for my tie because I don't want you to know what school I go to. But anyway, we're going to start off and just showing you guys my lunchbox. Got my space one. I've got a baby Yoda keychain. Um, my hand sanitizer and my star popper, which I wouldn't say is the best for use in class, but it's actually I would recommend it for outside and stuff. Now we're gonna open the lunchbox. Um. So in the side of my lunchbox I have all the things that I take to school. I'm going to start off by showing you this. Um, I made a bust and it's like... Next, um, I've got this. Um, I'm not going to open it but it's clay. Um, I'm not going to open it because it does stain my fingers yellow. Um, Next, I have my starfish, Mochi, who's going to be getting a bath tonight. I'm actually going to be making a video on bathing my Mochi and bathing my Mochi tonight. So, like, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, and also, just, just to show you guys a bit of a picture of what else I'll be bathing up here right now. This is everything I'm bathing tonight. Um, next, I have my dinosaur mochi chomp. He'll be getting a bath too. Um, I really like him and so does my best friend Megan. My best friend Iris really likes Mr. Starfish. Um, so I'll let them keep them on their desks. Um, next we have my Octopop, which doesn't make that much noise. So I'd say it would be okay for use in class. Because it doesn't make that much noise. Yeah, it's cute and simple. Unless it's on the good side, obviously. But, um... If you do this and then hold it to do this on both sides, it doesn't make that much of a noise, so it would be fine. Next, I have this dimple. It's not too loud unless it's on this side, um, but I would probably recommend using this more outside than I would in. Next, we have uh, my globals, which will be getting best. Unfortunately, today my yellow one popped, but what I will also be doing um, is putting tape over this tonight before the bath, because that's getting bath too. Um, um, so yeah, I know it probably won't stay, but maybe I could fill it with water and then tape it, and then it just doesn't get bathed. Guys, um, I'm probably just going to do that. Um, Next we have my orange and purple ones. I would definitely recommend globals of a use in school. You can definitely use them inside, but probably not outside because globals can get dirty really easily. Um, next we have my homemade burger squashy. I actually love this thing. Um, it's really soft and slow rising, and I definitely recommend squishies as something to take to school. Because uh, if you squeeze in them, they're quite soft and slow and quiet. Next we have my second squishy. This is Nella. It, she's not as soft and slow rising, but she's cute all the same. Next we have um, a marble and mesh, which my cousin Milo let me have. Because she left it in my house and then she just said... I could have it because it was ages that um, I hadn't showed her it for, I hadn't given her it for. We were meant to give it to each other, but she just said she'd let me have it. Um, 
Next we have an infinity cube, which definitely isn't something you should use inside school unless your teacher lets you play with fidgets. Same goes for my dimple and other fidgets that I've said are quite loud. But anyway, this is probably more of an outside fidget. Last but definitely not least, we have my um my fidget cube. Some sides I would recommend playing with in class, which include of this side, this side, and this part. But only this part, the lead sphere part, and not these parts, or else it is quite loud. Um, except in this one for me, for some weird reason, this one's really quiet compared to the rest of them. But things I wouldn't recommend in class are these, this, and this. So that's all the fidgets I take to school. So yeah, bye! This is all the fidgets I take to school.